Manjaro, one of my favorite Arch-based Linux operating systems to this day. Now, from the color combinations on the wallpaper, themes, look and feel, Manjaro is quite appealing and beautiful to look at. But of course, if you are not a fan of the green and black colors, you can still change themes. It will take a little effort, but it's not that hard. On the desktop, we have the Activities button on the top left corner. At the top middle, we have Date and Calendar and the Notifications tab. And on the right corner, we have the Connections, Volume and Power button, which opens to a panel that shows more options including settings. At the bottom center, we have the Dock. It is important to know that you can change the position of the dock from the bottom to either the top, the left, or the right side of your desktop. More about this later in the video. Now the first button on the dock launches the app drawer. The rest are just pinned apps. Now when you open the app drawer, there are two desktop preview panels at the top which allow you to change from one desktop to another by just clicking either. And then there are the apps, which you can scroll using the mouse or use two fingers on your laptop touchpad to scroll up and down. If we go to settings, it's the usual stuff. You can check your connections, whether it's Ethernet, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You can change the wallpaper. You can set notifications. Configure your workspaces. And under privacy, you can restrict access to location, camera, or your microphone. But most importantly, you can set duration for auto deletion of your trash and temporary files. And finally, in the about section, you can check your system details. Now to change the dock position, just right click the first button on the dock. Click the dash to dock settings, and then change the dock position to whatever side of the screen that you want. There are more options you can play around with, like change the icon size, the dock size, or extend the dock to screen edges. Installation of Manjaro is quite easy. We have the installer to help you install the OS. Just follow the on-screen guidelines. You can choose to have swap if you have little RAM, say 4GB or less. As for the file system, it supports ButterFS, ext4, and other file system formats. I have 4GB RAM, and I won't need swap for now. And I will use ext4 file system for this installation. In terms of system usage, Majaro is not that heavy. CPU usage is still at 20% or so, and the RAM usage is about 1.8GB when idle. You also get time shift to help you restore your system in case an update messes things up. To download and update software applications in Manjaro, you have the software app where you can install and uninstall applications as you wish. But if you still prefer the terminal, you can use it and use the pacman and ye commands to install any software you need. In general, Manjaro is one of a kind Linux distro that you should try at least once before you settle on your final Linux OS. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel.